So, yesterday, last night, before Monday Night Raw began officially, some interesting news came from backstage. And I wanted to wait till all the details were pretty much ironed out and everybody pretty much got the chance to, you know, explain what they heard and found out about. And that is the fact that CM Punk, Phil Brooks, the man that is obviously on his way back to AEW in some capacity, whether we like, you know, the capacity he's coming back in or not, uh, paid a visit backstage, you know, uh, with the talent on Monday Night Raw. And apparently this was all due to the fact that he was on the same flight, ironically, with uh, the talent because he had done some commentary for the King of Cage um, MMA, um, I guess, uh, show that was uh, uh, in town or basically in the same vicinity that WWE was in. King, I think it was a King, King of Cage fighting or something. And um, he's on the same flight. And it sounds like that he was invited to spend some time a little bit, but not much. And obviously saw this as an opportunity. I'm sure he probably uh, cleared it as I just straightened something out here. He probably cleared it with AJ, his wife AJ Lee, to, uh, or a, you know, AJ Mendez, to, um, you know, go talk with people there and probably, you know, kind of work things out, kind of patch things up. And apparently that's what he did. He patched things up with The Miz, after, you know, the little kerfuffle, if you will. He was seen on camera talking to, you know, Tamina. He actually got to talk with Triple H for, you know, very briefly to find out if, hey, can I have a, you know, like a minute or two of your time to talk? Probably iron some things out. And uh, that was about it. You know, and unfortunately, he had to be escorted out by the head of security for WWE at the behest of Vince McMahon, who was not there. But I guess when uh, Triple H said, hey, let me check with the big guy, which was obviously Vince, you know, that's when uh, he had to come back with security and say, yeah, we're going to ask you to leave. And, you know, Punk, you know, made no scene. He said, okay, no problem. Obviously, well, he didn't say, no, okay, no problem. He just left without incident, you know, very peacefully. Now, some would, you know, some obviously are going to go on record and, and say that, you know, Punk did this because, you know, he's trying to probably fi probably have an option to go back to WWE in case things don't work out with AEW, he can legally get out of his contract, go back to WWE, stuff like that. You know, thus he's making amends. Or maybe he's trying to send a message of, hey, if I can make amends with people on this side of the pond that I used to have issues with, then it shows that I'm willing to make amends with those on the pond I'm currently on this side of the pond that I'm currently resi residing on. And, you know, if that's the case, and, you know, it, it's um, basically what people say, you know, turned out to actually be, which is a publicity stunt to send that kind of a message, then I don't think you get, you can blame Punk for, for wanting to go that, you know, direction, take this initiative to not only bury the hatchet with some people that he had um, worked with previously during his time in WWE and had issues with, but now wants to make peace with, you know, you can't make, you, you can't blame him honestly for wanting to use this as a way to send a message to his current employer, AEW, and mostly the Bucks and Omega and Page of, hey, look, I want to I wanna make peace. I don't want to cause trouble. You know, if I'm willing to work this out with these people, I'm willing to work it out with you guys too. Let's see what we can do. Let's, you know, let's do business. So, so yeah, I think obviously from a publicity standpoint, he was sending the right kind of message to um, to AEW, mostly to the elite, like, hey, if I can, if I can swallow my pride and, you know, you know, bury the hatchet with, you know, Paul Levesque, Triple H, and Mike Mizanin, and, and, you know, and all the others here in WWE, then I can do the same with you guys here in AEW, where I'm currently at, which, to me, is a smart move, because you know, and he knows, mostly, it's going to get people talking. People are going to talk about it, they're going to wonder, okay, why was he there, you know, what did he talk to Triple H about very briefly? I want to talk to Triple H about, you know, and so on. And, you know, again, I think it's a smart move on his part because it, it basically forces AEW's hands. It forces, you know, Tony Khan's hand 
in mostly the elite's hand to be like, look, we don't want to be embarrassed. Let's see what this guy has to say. In a, and if it does do that, then hey, then more power to then hey, more power to Punk. This plan worked. This was a little publicity stunt plan worked. So, you know, if that's what he was trying to do, you know, outside of legitimately trying to make amends with everybody there that he used to work with, as well as just catch up on things, then uh, mission accomplished. You know, if his plan was to send, by doing this, send a message to the elite, send a message to Tony Khan, that, hey, if I'm willing to do this, then why aren't you guys willing to do the same? So, you know, I, I don't blame I don't blame Punk for doing something like this if, that's part, if that was part of his plan to, you know, get people to, you know, to basically get the elite to notice this, to get wind of this and be like, okay, you know, he's he's basically forcing our hands. Let's see what he has to say and go from there. I know other people might try to spin this all the way around and say, oh, he's trying to find a way, you know, out of his contract. He's trying to make amends. So if he has to, so if he has to, you know, to have another place to go if things don't work out in AEW. And I don't think that's the case. I have to agree with KD and just Alex. That is not the case. He's, he basically one of the he was it was basically the right time, ironically for him to you know the right time the right place from his point of view, you know uh, to to do this. But also from a business standpoint, he realizes, hey, I know word's going to get out about this. Let's see what I can make of this. Let's see you know what the results will be, and if the result is him, <coughs> excuse me, you know him getting an audience with the elite, finally working things out, or at least you know, put it, settling their differences to where they can work, you know, from a business standpoint like men, then like I said, mission accomplished. But yeah, it was really interesting to know that CM Punk of all people excuse me, CM Punk of all people was backstage, you know, at Monday Night Raw, you know, making amends, visiting and all that, you know, um, and just trying to bury the hatch in a lot of things. But also at the same time utilizing this as a publicity stunt to, um, and, you know, to basically get the attention of the elite, get the attention of Tony Khan of, hey, I'm willing to talk. If I'm willing to do this, you know, swallow my pride, you know, bury the hatchet with, with my former employer, then I should, you know, you should, then you should be acceptable, acceptive of the fact that I want to do the same with you guys. So if, that, if that's the case, if that was the reasoning for this, you know, to him sending a message to the elite that, hey, if I'm willing to make it, you know, make amends with them, I'm willing to do the same with you. And it gets their attention to where they'll be like, okay, fine. We don't want to be upstage. We'll see what you have to say. Then, you know, mission accomplished, in my opinion, mission accomplished. But we'll see what the outcome will be. We'll see what the outcome will be and all that uh, as we get closer to CM Punk's return, which is going to be in the middle of June next month. And um, apparently it's going to tie, be tied into the debut of Collision on that same night. So, uh, so yeah, let me know what your thoughts are, guys. What are your thoughts on Punk being backstage at Raw last night? Do you think he was there to not only make amends, but use it as a way to, you know, publicly, knowing it was going to get out there, you know, publicly and publicly, you know, send the message to the elite, like, hey, I'm willing to talk. If I'm willing to do this, then I'm willing to do the same with you guys. What are your thoughts? Excuse me. There. What are your thoughts on it? Let me know down below in the comments. Throw it in the live chat. Do it from here. Like the video. Love to hear from each and every one of you on this. And until next time, I am out.